everyone. I hope you all are happy and healthy. Today, I want to share with you all my idea for Madagascar 4. To get right into it, I believe that if Madagascar 4 is the last movie in the franchise, then the movie should end up with all of the characters deciding to go back to Madagascar. And I know what you may be thinking. Well, wait, if they just go back to Madagascar, then what's the point of the last two movies? To be honest, while I love the second and third films, I think there is a bit of a problem with those movies. Let's start from the beginning. Alex Melman, Gloria, and Marty, through a sequence of events, end up on the island of Madagascar. Marty loves the place, and eventually Gloria and Melman, though they might still prefer to be in New York, see the beauty of the island as well. Alex is the one that has the hardest time adjusting to the island. From what I understand, that's mainly because of a lack of food. But then at the end of the movie, the penguins give him sushi and he loves it. So now that Alex can live on the island without starving, he and his friends can stay on the beautiful island where they can run free and not have to be confined to their habitats at the zoo. I mean, that's what they'll do, right? <laughs> Wrong, because Madagascar 2 happens. Alex and his friends decide they need to go back to New York, but then through another sequence of events, they end up in Africa. Now, Africa seems to be a perfect place for the main four as well. They each get to meet other animals of the same species, Alex gets to reunite with his parents, and it's another beautiful place where they can roam free. So surely, surely they will choose to live there, right? Right? Wrong again, because Madagascar 3 happens. After a nightmare about getting old and seeing a sandcastle version of New York, Alex all of a sudden decides that it's time to go back to New York. Through another sequence of events, instead of being in New York, they end up in Europe. Then they, in, then they decide to join a circus, and that's how the movie ends. And all I can say to that is, what? Okay, so first of all, it makes no sense as to why they keep trying to go back to New York to live in a zoo. I mean, not only do they try to go back to New York in the second and third movies, but even in, the Mar even in Mary Madagascar, the Christmas special, they try to go back to New York as well. I would think that after seeing what it's like to truly be free on the island of Madagascar, they would choose to live there. And if not there, then surely they would choose to stay in Africa. I mean, there's a scene in the movie where Alex literally says that Africa is, is their home. And by the end of the second movie, it seems like that's indeed where they will stay. But then in the third movie, Alex completely changes his mind and it's so confusing. In a way, it seems like wanting to go to New York is an impulsive decision for him, since right after seeing a sandcastle version of New York, he's just like, yep, it's much better for us to live in a zoo. Now, the good thing about the third movie is that they do eventually realize that the zoo is not exactly the best place for animals. But if we think realistically for a second, a circus is not exactly the best place for animals in real life either. From what I've heard, circus animals are very likely to be abused and mistreated. But since this, is a, since this is a fictional movie, I guess one could come to the conclusion that, well, in the Madagascar cinematic universe, the circus is actually a great place for these characters to be. Also, since Mason and Phil, the chimpanzees, pretended to be a human and signed a contract which allows the humans to be able to manage their own circus, they now don't have to worry about humans mistreating them. But that could all change in the fourth movie. What if somehow, at the beginning of the fourth movie, some human, maybe the manager of another circus or some sort of circus inspection officer, I don't know. Anyway, what if some human decides to check in on the circus? In order to keep the human from being suspicious, the, the penguins have Phil and Mason dress up as the quote-unquote person who owns, the who owns the circus. And maybe at first things go smoothly, but then one thing leads to another, and Phil and Mason accidentally reveal their animal identities to the human then that's when the human will decide to get an actual person to come in and take charge of the circus since animals can't be in charge of this circus and once that happens there will be a new circus owner slash manager and other humans hired to work with them and train the animals and this will cause the lives of alex and his friends to be a lot harder maybe dreamworks doesn't have to go as far as having the humans abusing animals to make them perform trips tricks because that would be too hum that would be like too traumatizing but they should show but they can show that as long as humans are involved in their lives then they will always struggle to have freedom and live the lives they really want to that's when alex can remember madagascar and all of them realize that madagascar was the perfect place for them all along so they break out of the circus and the movie ends with all of the animals spending the rest of their lives together at the island Another reason I believe that Madagascar is the best place for them is because of King Julian. All Hail King Julian, the prequel to the first Madagascar movie, showed how much Julian cares about his kingdom and being king truly brought out the best in his character. 
we see throughout the franchise that when Julian is away from his real kingdom, he loses all the character development he had in All Hail King Julian and becomes a more selfish character. And I think all of his desperate attempts to be in charge everywhere he goes, whether it's trying to be king in Africa or be king of the zoo in the Penguins of Madagascar, all of those desperate attempts to be in charge show that Julian's purpose in life is to be a real king, so he needs to go back to his kingdom by the end of the franchise. Remember how I said that in Africa the main four found other animals that were from the same species? Well, Julian already had a whole home filled with other lemurs back in Madagascar. I truly think leaving Madagascar was not only a bad decision for the main four, but for King Julian as well. So yeah, that's my idea for Madagascar 4. I want them all to end up back in Madagascar. I know that some of you might think it's a bit repetitive to have them go back to Madagascar, but at least it's not as repetitive as Alice constantly trying to go back to New York. <laughs> but even if they have already been to Madagascar, it is still where I feel like they belong. Now, since the last two movies did have this theme of having the animals travel to a new continent, I think it would be cool to continue that theme in the fourth movie. The beginning of the movie could feature the characters going somewhere in Asia, perhaps. Maybe they could go to Japan or Thailand. Perhaps they decide to take the circus internationally and travel to another country, but that's when they run into trouble with the human that comes to make sure the circus is following all the rules or whatever. Or they could go to another country in the process of trying to break out of the circus. Either way, it would be cool to have the characters in another country for a while before eventually heading back to Madagascar. The main thing I want, though, is for this movie to end in Madagascar and for all the characters to end up together. Because I don't want this to be like Toy Story 4 where all the animals split up because I do not want that to happen. Do you hear me, DreamWorks? Do you hear me? <laughs> but in all seriousness, I truly believe that the whole point of the Madagascar franchise is for all of these animals of different species and from different places to become friends and go on adventures together. Therefore, it doesn't make sense for these characters to split apart. Also, another thing I want in Madagascar 4 is to have the lemurs and the penguins be forced to team up or have some sort of storyline together. I know it's probably easier for them to have the main four, the lemurs, and the penguins to have their own separate little storylines, but since they always do that, I want something a little different. I want to see more character interactions between the different groups of animals rather than everyone only interacting with their respective group. It'd be cool if they would somehow have a storyline that would force each character to work together with their opposite. Like maybe Melman and Rico and King Julian and Skipper would have to work together or something. Or it would be cool to see characters who could have a lot in common with each other finally hanging out together like Maurice and Kowalski or Gloria and Private. I, said, I, I, I say that Kowalski and Maurice could get along quite well due to them both being the smartest in their respective groups. And I think Gloria would appreciate how kind-hearted Private is. Anyways, the point is, is that it would be nice to see more diverse character interactions in Madagascar 4. And you know what else should happen in Madagascar 4? King Julian and Sonya should break up. <laughs> like, Julian deserves anyone, anyone else besides Sonya. Like, I don't know about you, but we do not ship Sonya and Julian in this household. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. You can ship them if you want to, but just know that I disagree with you. <laughs> But anyways, that is everything I would want in Madagascar 4. What do you want to happen? What do you want to happen in Madagascar 4? I know someone who wants Carl from All Hail King Julian to be the villain of the movie, and some other people want Clover from All Hail King Julian to be part of the movie as well, and I think those are great ideas. It'd be cool to see some of the other characters from the other parts of the franchise, even if it, w even if it was just in the post credit scene or something. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please, thank you so much for watching. Really, if you watch this whole thing, that I really appreciate it. Please, anyways, thank you for watching, and please remember to love yourself and be kind to everyone. Bye.